What? Ah, killer clown! Ah. Oh, Jillian, there's a killer clown in the living room! Do you mean a clown who happens to be a killer, or an actual killer clown? You know, from outer space? Wait, there's a difference? Yeah, killer clowns from outer space look like clowns, but they're actually aliens. From outer space. How would I know the difference? Look outside the window and tell me if you see anything unusual. Let's go to the window! Whoa! Anything? Oh, Julian, there's a giant red and yellow circus tent out there! That's no tent. That's a spaceship that looks like a tent. So what's that mean to us? Looks like our house has been invaded by killer clowns. So what should we do about the killer clowns? Wait, how'd you get here so fast? Little of that old Addy magic. Anyways, the question isn't what we should do. The question is what you should do. Moi? This isn't my fault. Exhibit 1. Addy sees a killer clown in the living room. Yeah, yeah, that definitely happened. Exhibit 2. Addy sees a big top spaceship in the yard. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're going with this. So this sounds like an Addy problem to me. Exhibit 3. Jillian's being mean. All right, all right, I'll help you, but on a consultant basis only. Wait, are you going to send me a 1099 or do I have to send you one? I forget how that works. A little tax humor for you out there. Wait a minute, what are your qualifications? I'm something of a killer clown expert myself, you know. Meaning, you've seen the movie and I haven't. Precisely. We'll worry about the big top later, so what do I do about the killer clown out in the living room? Well, it depends. Which killer clown is it? You know, I was so busy running for my life that I didn't bother asking for ID. I mean, what does he or she look like? Let's see, a uh, round head, green tufts of hair, oh yeah, and he was kind of short. Oh, that's Shorty. How original, you could tell the writers really put some effort into that name. Yeah, it was kind of a low-budget movie. So what do I do? All my weaponry's in the shop for repairs. The clown doesn't know that. You could try threatening him. If he believes you, he just might leave. Hey, that's a great idea! Wait a minute, what if he doesn't believe me? You have a final will and testament, right? Well, you're not getting anything. Hey, Shorty! I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> yeah, I have all kinds of fancy secret weaponry just back there! <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? I have clown killing weapons! I have a whole clown killing tank! <laughs> and you know what it does? Instead of shooting missiles, it shoots pies right at your clown face! <laughs> Whoa! He laughed so hard, he exploded! Jillian, it worked! You threatened him and he actually left? I gotta be honest, I was kinda throwing you under the bus on that one. And that's why you're not in the will, Jillian. So what happened? He didn't leave, he died. He laughed so hard he exploded. Wait, that doesn't happen in the movie. Did anyone actually try it in the movie? I guess not. Anyway, who says these are the canonical killer clowns? At least I solved the problem. Addy, as soon as the other clowns in the spaceship realize Shorty hasn't radioed back, they're gonna send in reinforcements. What? That'll never happen. At least they're polite enough to ring the doorbell. I better go see who it is. Shorty, now I know we had our differences, but... Whoa! Ah! They send in reinforcements! Ah! Jillian! 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 Oh, Jillian! 
Let me guess, they sent in reinforcements. Well, it ain't the Avon lady. Which clown was it this time? Uh, he had a tuft of red hair and a... How can I say this? Uh, he was a man of substantial carriage. Big, huh? That must be Fatso. Fatso? They actually named him Fatso? That seems kind of mean. Eh, it was the 80s. Body shaming killer clowns was pretty much the norm. I'm not comfortable calling him that. Let's say his name is, uh, Orson. Now who's body shaming? So, do you think I could make this one explode too? It's worth a try. But how can I be funny a second time? You could just repeat what you said last time. Hasn't stopped us before. Eh, that's no fun. Ooh, I got it! Alright, Orson, be prepared for some great A comedy! Huh? Huh? In case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a chicken on my head. Everyone knows that's very funny. Baka! 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 <laughs> Wait, something feels funny. Huh? Yes! Two for two! Jillian, it worked and fat- I mean, Orson is gone! Oh great, what did you do to make him laugh? I'm holding a giant egg and wearing a chicken on my head. What do you think? Seems like a normal day here to me. Ugh, anyway, the clowns are gone. Unless, of course, they sent reinforcements for their reinforcements. That'll never happen. Never, 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 never. Go knock em dead. Alright, who do we got now? Whoa! Hmm, you're kinda tall, kinda slim. I'm guessing your name is Slim. Time for me to start clowning around. There's two cannibals eating a clown, and one looks at the other and says, Does this taste a little funny? Uh? <laughs> hey, I think I'm gonna start a clown shoe business, but it's no small feat. Uh? Uh? <laughs> hey, and this one's appropriate today. What should you do if you're attacked by a mob of clowns? Go for the juggler, hey, get it? Goodbye, Slim. I barely knew ya. Jillian, I just bagged another killer clown. Was it Slim? I bet it was Slim this time. Yeah, but aren't you gonna ask why I, myself, am dressed as a clown? Oh yeah, you are. Oh. Whew, I don't know how those clowns can do it. Cause they're aliens and they look like that all the time. Well, I hope you got some more funnies in ya. Oh, do I have funnies? Oh man, I have so, so many funnies. You got nothing, right? Well, why don't you go out there and be funny for a change? We had an agreement. I'm not leaving this couch. You're doing all the clown work today. That's right, but if killer clowns come next week, it's all on you. That poor fool. Alright, clown, what are we gonna- Whoa! You're no shrimp! You know what? I'm gonna call you Jumbo! Are you in the mood for some laughs? We're gonna call this one Squid Games! Get it? <laughs> wow, he actually thinks that's funny? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got my boxing gloves on! Who am I gonna punch? Okay, I'll punch me! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow, this guy's a real turkey. You sure have a cheesy sense of humor. <laughs> wow, it actually worked. Eh, even Carrot Top has his fans. Jillian, there was this big jumbo-sized clown out there. 
think his name was Clarence. That literally was Jumbo. Anyway, you're never gonna guess how I made him laugh. Never, never. Let's see, you probably started off with that squid hat and some lame joke about squid games, and then you brought out boxing gloves for some reason, and... Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. Then you finished off with the turkey hat and a block of cheese and some joke about cheesy humor. Close. This is actually a capon. So you defeated Jumbo? Yep. No more Jumbo, no more clowns. That's the Avon lady this time, right? There is one more clown. Clownzilla. Clownzilla? He seems like a nice guy. How bad could Clownzilla be? Oh, he's the biggest and meanest of them all, and you'll never make him laugh. That sounds like a challenge! Clownzilla, how big can Clownzilla be? Oh no. Alright, Addy, remain calm. You gotta make this clown laugh, just like you made the other clowns laugh. All right, clown, you forced me to bring out the big guns. Berries and cream, berries and cream, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Come on, that's some A material. Up the octave, go for it. Berries and cream, berries and cream, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's not laughing at my aim material! So how'd it go? Not so good. Despite all the funniest material I had, he didn't even crack a smile. That's Clownzilla for ya. So how do we go about defeating Clownzilla? Legend has it that if you pierce his nose, he'll explode. We don't have time to take him to the piercing pagoda. Any kind of trauma to his nose should do the job. Exploding nose on a clown seems kind of like a design flaw. Hey, I don't make the rules. Alright, Clownzilla, I have a proposition for you. <sighs> you think you're pretty smart, but I bet I can outsmart you in a little game of Simon Says. <sighs> Simon Says, put your hands out. Okay, now put him down. Ah, uh, you are smart. Okay, Simon says put him down. Simon says, go back to your big top spaceship and pierce your nose. Man, that was way too easy. I'm so proud of myself! What, you pierced Clownzilla's nose? Where was the explosion? Let's go to the window! So that's it. No more clowns. <laughs> Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Man, what year is it? Oh no. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Buy our merch, buy our merch. There's so many, we got plenty. Buy our merch. If you like Join and Addy videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianAndAddy.com, it's all good. So that was Killer Clowns from Outer Space in our house. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addy, our main channel, and Jillian and Addy Life, our vlogging channel. They're a lot of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos like this one. And remember, stay scared. Bye! I'm so scared of that turkey and that, that egg. And actually, that clown mask is a little scary on Eddie. <laughs>